First, let's talk about what x-rays actually are. Imagine you wanted to see through closed doors, walls, or even the human body. Normal light wouldn't do it. So we need to reinvent light. We would need a kind of ray that's so powerful that you could look inside of things. When using x-rays in conventional radiography, the physician can see certain kinds of soft tissue, like lungs, and hard tissue, like bones. If we need to see other parts of the body that x-rays alone won't show, we need a special fluid called a contrast agent. The physician applies the contrast agent to the area he wants to see. It's denser than normal soft tissue, so it absorbs more rays and makes the tissue, like the digestive system, kidneys, or veins, visible. So x-rays are useful tools for lots of things, but they're mainly used in the following situations. First, after an accident, physicians might need to see how badly the patient has been hurt, and they have to make sure just where the actual damage is. Thus, x-rays are an important tool for quick diagnosis. Secondly, x-rays are used in many situations where a suspected disease needs to be ruled out or confirmed and then specified. In case of suspected cancer, for instance, formerly exploratory surgery was often needed to see if a patient really had cancer. Nowadays, x-rays can often help answer this question without surgery. Thirdly, physicians use x-rays as a visual guide during a special kind of surgery. These operations are endoscopic, which means they're performed with very small tools that are inserted into the body through tiny holes. So the surgeon needs x-rays in order to see what he's doing. And lastly, x-rays are used to monitor the healing process of certain kinds of injuries. And thus the physician can see how well the treatment is working. So as you can see, a lot of modern medicine would be impossible without x-rays. Conventional x-ray systems can only generate shadow-like images. With the use of a contrast agent and techniques like computed tomography, angiography, and molecular imaging, physicians are able to look at different areas of the body from different angles. Moving parts of the body need another special technique. So to see how your heart beats or how your digestive system works, we use a technique called fluoroscopy, which is just like film. All films are a series of still pictures, and if we play them fast enough, the pictures are blurred into one moving scene. 